Hi, it's Dwyer. RichardDwyer.com, KeepingItFree.Blogspot.com, GamblersAdvisory.com. Today is May the 28th, 2019. A lot has happened <clears throat> in the Adnan Syed case, including an excellent show on HBO, which I have not fully watched yet. Right? I was at a dinner party yesterday and I overheard some people talking about the case. I had to bite my tongue. Now understand I've made a couple of videos, maybe more than that, on this case here online uh, some time ago. Let's revisit that day in January 1999 when Heyman Lee goes missing <clears throat> at 7 p.m., right? Let's be even more precise than that. At either 7.09 p.m. or 7.16 p.m., Jennifer Puscateri wanted to call her friend, Jay Wiles. She looks on her phone, and she sees the last number that he called her from on her caller ID. So she calls that number. A man answers the phone, but it is not Jay Wiles. It is Adnan Syed. She asks for Jay. The number she has called is Adnan Syed's phone number because Jay had Adnan's phone during the day from where he called Jennifer. The man who answers the phone says that Jay is busy and that he will call her back. He answers the phone right in front of Jay, who is able to tell the police about it later. Now, later that evening, after receiving a text, Jennifer Puscateri then meets Mr. Wiles in a parking lot at the Westview Mall. She sees him getting out of a car that has Adnan Syed in it. Now her testimony is very important. It's crucial because it places the two men together after 7 p.m. on the night of Hayes' murder. Syed, and again this is very important, is not at his house preparing to go to the mosque as he claimed to the police. His story, in my opinion, is false. We have a third party witness here. Someone other than Jay Wiles who I understand people doubt. But you have duplication here. We have Jennifer Puscateri. More importantly, we have the phone record of the calls. Now, according to Jay, when the call came in, the two men were burying murder victim Hayes' body at Leakin Park. We know he was with Syed from the phone call. Now the cell phone tower pings, which now are hotly disputed, are consistent with them being at the park, and they're inconsistent with Syed's version of events. Now I know this case is contested, but what I want people to do here is to keep your eye on the ball. Even if you exclude the cell tower pings, you still have a third party witness, Jennifer, who called Adnan's cell phone after 7 p.m. and who was told that Jay was busy. Right? We don't have to rely, folks, on cell phone pings. 
you have the phone record of the call being made. You also have Jay who told police that Adnan answered the phone in his presence. You also have later that same night Third-party witness Jennifer Puskateri, CJ, get out of Adnan's car. All of that takes place after 7 p.m. So understand, even if you exclude the cell phone tower evidence, you still have phone records of Adnan's phone receiving the calls after seven and you have two not one but two different witnesses Jay and Jennifer who flatly contradict Adnan's version of events finally there's a timing element here when Jay gets in Jennifer's car and they're driving away, he tells her that Adnan killed Hay. Right? This conversation takes place the day Hay goes missing, before Hay's body is discovered. Right? Understand, he also tells Jennifer, and this to me has an air of authenticity to it. Right from this seat, I believe this fact. He tells his friend Jennifer that he did not want Adnan, who he's just left, hanging around his own girlfriend, Stephanie. Finally, he tells Jennifer that he knows where the shovels are that were used to cover up Hay's body. Now understand, Jennifer claims that she heard all this information the very day Hay goes missing from a man who she's just seen get out of Adnan Syed's car. This is after calling a phone number and having Adnan, who she knew from school, answer the phone. So people who come up to you, well-meaning people, um, fellow investigators like us, Right, casual investigators with an interest in getting at the truth in these crime cases. People will come up to you and say things like, look, that cell phone, tower evidence, can't be trusted. Need to ask themselves whether or not the phone records themselves can be trusted. We don't need the cell phone tower evidence. We can literally just look at the phone records and say, wow, who's telling the truth here? The phone records show Adnan's phone getting two calls after 7 p.m. A third party witness has come forward, right? She places the call from her phone, at least one of the calls. Right, with a story that coincides with Jay Wiles' story of Adnan answering the phone in front of him and saying Jay is busy. If you believe Jennifer Puskateri, Adnan Saeed is with Jay after 7 p.m. and has lied to the police. Also, with regard to Jay, he tells his friend that night 
that night that he helped bury the body. Why the urgency? Because he doesn't want his girlfriend Stephanie ever hanging out with Adnan Syed. Understand, the J story of events, and I understand they're different versions, but the J story of events start right after he gets out Adnan's car and enters Jennifer Puskateri's car. This isn't a story he comes up with later. No, this is a story he comes up with before anyone knows Hay has been murdered. This is a story the night of the murder. Right? Before Hay's body has even been found. So I want people to focus on the two calls Adnan received. I know neither of them is that long a call, right? But how do you reconcile that with Adnan's version of events? That he supposedly went home. The issue goes to the heart of the case. When the police question Adnan, he of course claimed to have not thought much of the fact that Hay had gone missing. But yet, he should remember, shouldn't he, getting two calls after 7 p.m. Either he's home or he's out at Lincoln Park with Jay burying a body. Maybe he's someplace else with Jay. But we know none of Adnan's stories have him at home where he claimed to police he was with Jay. So why would Adnan lie to the police? Let me also say this too. If you believe Jennifer is lying, why would she lie? How far does the conspiracy go? If you're going to question her credibility, then understand the narrative is different than claiming that Jay did this on his own and he's covering up his own actions. Now you're actually going to have a conspiracy, right, involving people who weren't even there when Hay was buried. This video has been done pursuant to a Creative Commons license. Whoever wants to use it to rebut it to quote it, to splice it into their video, has my authorization to do so. Right? The same applies to the earlier videos I did on Adnan Syed here online. I know he's charismatic. I know there's some problems with the case. I appreciate the conversations on the lividity of the body. I understand the timeline is a very short timeline if you believe the prosecution's theory of the case, right? I understand there's an alibi witness that um, wants everyone to believe that for the first time in Syed's life, he goes into a library um, at the time the murder takes place. The case certainly has twists and turns, no question about it. But one of the biggest twists in the case is the fact that Adnan Saeed lies to the police, is still lying this day on where he was that evening, early that night. Right? We don't have to rely 
on cell phone tower evidence. That's duplicative. You have a phone record of calls he received after 7. And you have Jay's statement to the police. And how would Jay know this? That Adnan received the calls. Right? Jay had to be in Adnan's presence. And you have the caller of at least one of the calls. Say that she makes the call, Adnan answers the phone. So why would Adnan lie to the police about his whereabouts the day Hay goes missing? Right? Even after appeals and, you know, court of, you know, appeal rulings and things like that. It's astonishing that Adnan hasn't provided all of us with more clarity on where he was when he received these calls that the phone records themselves show were received. I look forward to your comments. I hope you leave them here in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.